Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit. My name is Amit Patel and you are watching the live show Musings with Software Engineers. Is learning algorithms worth for web development? Algorithm, uh, algorithm is required. See, algorithm simply means logical thinking. Okay, your, your ability to uh, understand a problem and then deconstruct the problem and write an algorithm on paper without actually writing the code and just the sequence of things that is going to happen okay or breaking your entire problem into various different classes and modules and then functions and being able to then write the algorithm and say that okay this is what is going to happen if i have to do this calculation then this is these are the steps which will lead to this calculation so all these things are about writing an algorithm so for any kind of software development algorithms are required algorithms if you think about it algorithms is a necessary subject within your computer science uh, engineering and why is it a necessary subject because that will help you to start thinking logically okay and lot of lot of uh, software engineers want to directly start writing the code but let me tell you that if you're not really good at writing algorithms then what will happen is a lot of times you'll, your code will start breaking you will not be able to write the code in the right fashion right at the first time okay there are hundreds of people who can do coding but there are very few people who can write the code in a systematic manner in a manner that they leave less bugs in a manner where the design is proper in a manner that it utilizes the memory correctly it in the manner that it uses the operating system resources correctly in the manner that it works on a particular device correctly for doing all this you need to think on the paper first and whatever you are doing the thinking on paper is all about writing the algorithm now in college when you are doing this uh, exercise of algorithm you will be very systematic and you will go by the teacher's notion of what is the right algorithm and what is the wrong algorithm okay but as you progress you will start understanding that algorithm is just brainstorming you are doing on paper before you start writing the actual code okay so algorithm is necessary for any kind of software development it's not about web uh, development it's not about android development it's not about machine learning or artificial intelligence it not about data science it not it's not about a certain type of programming languages it is important for you to become a logical thinker and to become a logical thinker the more algorithms you start writing on piece of paper it will easily start cultivating your logical thinking when you see a problem automatically you will start seeing the steps of breaking the problem and being able to put the sequence in place which will help you in the software development thing okay which will help you in building the better software application so algorithm is very necessary if you intend to become a software engineer and believe me some of the best companies you will not even get a job if you are not able to write a simple algorithm okay some of the best companies if you want to work for the best top uh, 50 or top 100 software development companies in the world then you will not be able to do it if you are not good at writing algorithms so rahul i feel that uh, if you are having apprehension and i will tell you one thing that see learning anything is easy it is only in our mind that we have put this notion that this is easy to learn and that is not easy to learn okay okay if you uh, understand this three r's okay read correct read repeat and rehearse read repeat and rehearse so read read means understand what you are trying to learn understand for example if you are trying to learn the subject or understand understand the theory behind that understand how to write an algorithm everything so read for that whatever whatever books you can read maybe you can read somebody's notes maybe your teacher is giving you notes find out from that then repeat repeat is you're trying to uh, remember everything that you have read 
you're trying to remember the main points which are required which will help you okay and rehearse or practice which means once you have understood the concepts once you have memorized the concepts now you practice so you take a problem and you write down the algorithm maybe the first algorithm you write is not good write down the second algorithm write down the third algorithm you know as you keep practicing and practicing and practicing slowly you will become better than others okay and there will be a time when this thing comes naturally to you okay and this is possible for any subject any field and anything that you want to learn now this videos you go and check my first live video and you will see what are the things that i'm doing and what are the challenges i have okay so you will you will you will yourself see uh, what is happening within that live video and you will say okay i have improved over a time this is my eighth i think seventh or eighth live video okay same same thing about making videos on my channel if you see my oldest video there are so many cuts in that video i i i'm speaking i'm i'm cutting that video there are so many blunders in that video okay i have not removed that from the channel because i don't want to uh, i don't uh, i'm not afraid of my own mistakes okay so uh, read repeat and rehearse okay the three r of mastering anything use this to master your algorithms okay it will be very helpful i'm going to link all the videos that i have talked about in this video uh, the program that i have talked about a players is also in the description of this video at the end screen you will see some video you can go and watch that video so you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get all the updates